Welcome to Link G4X Training Part 1. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to download and install our PC Link software, as well as doing a basic software overview so we can get familiar with the software and begin our training course. Without further wait, let's jump into our video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to be taking a look at downloading and installing our Link G4X PC Link software onto our laptops so we can begin our training course here. Now, the very first thing we want to do is jump into your internet browser. Type in linkecu.com. I have that open here on my laptop screen, as you can see. We're gonna move into our area called support here at the top, and then over here to the left-hand side under support, we're gonna find that we have our PC link download button. We wanna go click this, it's gonna bring us to a separate page. This is where we install and grab our PC link software to begin our process. So we're gonna scroll down here a little bit towards the bottom of the screen. We're gonna find we have a couple different choices. We have a legacy versions, a G4 Plus, and a G4X. Now naturally, because we're all using a G4X box and we're doing a G4X training course, we want to use the software associated with this. Now these other versions that we have here, the G4 Plus and the legacy versions, these are from the previous predecessors to the G4X. So the G4 Plus, we have a specific training course in our training course directory. Uh, the legacy versions, I haven't covered because these are quite old at this point in time. So um, again, these are for the older versions of our link boxes. This is going to be specific to the link G4X. We're going to go into the uh, link here labeled English. That's going to allow us to grab the software to start the installation process. Now down at the bottom of my screen, once I click this link, that's going to show me here I have some options. Run, save, cancel. I want to go here and just do run, allow it to run my exe file. We can see it's starting to download down here at the bottom. It's going to take up to about 20 seconds to download depending on your internet speed. I have a pretty fast internet connection here so it's downloading it pretty quickly. It's almost finished. As soon as it's finished here it's going to pop up a box and we can start to do our installation here. So we're almost done here. One second left and now it should po be popping up on my screen and it's going to ask me do I want to allow this app to make changes to my device. In this case say yes because I wanted to install the software so I'll click yes and then down here at the bottom we have to click on this little uh, bo icon box. It's going to ask us to select the designation location of where we want our PC Link software to be installed into. In this case, it has a default C drive Link G4X. That's going to be fine with me. If you want to install it in a different location, you go to browse here and select a different location, but this is a default location. It's fine. I'll click next here and allow it to move to the next step. It's going to ask me if I want to have a start menu uh, shortcut link under uh, label Link, G link ECU. If I want to go and have that label a uh, different name or in a different location, I click browse and select a different location. I'm fine with leaving it the default uh, values or the default parameters they have here. Let's go to next and now we're going to go um, see the location that's going to be installing into in their start menu folder, what it's going to be labeled as. Those are fine with me and then we'll go here and do install. Allow it to start the installation process. It's going to have a driver device installation wizard. This is going to be installing your USB drivers so that when you plug your USB cable into your laptop, it's going to know how to communicate with the link box that you're working with. Uh, we're going to go here and just click next and allow it to finish. See, it's finished already, so we'll click finish here. And then we can see completing the PC link setup wizard. We're all good to go here. The software is actually going to be installed. It's a relatively simple process. And we'll click finish here and allow that to finish. So the next step, let's close our browser out. And on my desktop, we're going to find that we have our PC Link G4X uh, shortcut link. So, so if we double click on the icon here, our software is going to open up and we can start to take a look at things. So let's double click uh, the software to load up onto our laptop screen. So if we move across here um, into the very upper right hand corner, we're going to find it's in a searching status. That means it's looking for the USB connection between our link box that we're working with and our laptop. Now I have my USB cable plugged into my laptop. I have it also plugged into my Link Atom box that I'm using for this tutorial right here in this video. And I haven't turned on the power to my vehicle yet to power on the box to allow the connection to establish. Now before we do that, I want to make sure that you jump up here into Options, go up here into Preferences. I want to make sure in your connection status that you have your connection mode set to Auto and then connection port set to Auto as well. We can leave the baud right here at the default 19,200. Um, we want to make sure it's in the auto mode so that it can automatically detect the USB connection on whatever COM port you have coming in and it can start to allow it to can actually connect and move from this searching status. So right now, if we go up here to ECU controls, searching for ECU, if we toggle it on, we can see auto connect is active. It's telling us it's already active and it is actively searching, we can see here, for the box. So let me go power on my link box here, power on the car. 
Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.